When Colorado Springs turns back the KKK, it shows other communities in Colorado that they didn't have to be quite so compliant. Other than Indiana, Colorado took the claim of having the most active KKK with the resurgence in the 1920s. They gained political power. They were able to win at the polls. They were able to guide legislation across the state, and they were kind of kingmakers, if you will. They moved into Southern Colorado, Colorado Springs, the municipal election in the spring of 1925. There was a slate of candidates pushed by the KKK and leaders in Colorado Springs pushed back and advocated strongly for a different slate of candidates. Uh, George Birdsall, Martin Drake, and Ira Harris, who were opposing, actively opposing, this very powerful social movement in an era in which the KKK was winning at the polls across the state. Colorado Springs was one of the few uh, and the only major city that turned them away. It turned out to be a victory for the anti-KKK ticket. The local community did not want outsiders telling us what to do, kind of poetically connected to this idea that they also supported a municipal utilities. We could not have grown the way we've grown once the military moves in without reliable water infrastructure, without the electrical service that we can provide. Those decisions, while done in the 1920s, are still influencing us today and have nearly made the community what it is.